Eighteen idiomatic expressions with hand from EspressoEnglish.net. Idioms or idiomatic expressions are short phrases that have a different meaning from the individual words. In this lesson, you'll learn eighteen idioms all using the word hand. Number one, get out of hand. This means to get out of control. For example, we had to call the police after the party got a little out of hand. Number two. Experience firsthand. This means to experience it yourself. For example, I didn't understand how hard parenting is until I experienced it firsthand. Number three, change hands. This means to pass or sell something to another person. For example, this house has changed hands several times in the past ten years. Number four, have your hands full or have got your hands full. This means to be completely busy or occupied. For example, they have six kids and four dogs. They've definitely got their hands full. Number five, try your hand at. This means to try an activity for the first time. For example, I've never taken guitar lessons, but I'd like to try my hand at it. Number six, give a hand or lend a hand. This means to help somebody. For example, I can't carry all these books by myself. Could you give me a hand? Number seven, on hand. This means available. It's used for objects, not people. For example, I like to have a dictionary on hand when I'm reading a book in English. Number eight, wash your hands of. This means to stop being responsible for a situation or problem. For example. The manager washed his hands of the situation and told us to resolve it ourselves. Number nine, hands are tied. This means not to have the ability to help or take action. For example, sorry, but my hands are tied. I can't buy the equipment without my boss's approval. Number ten, know like the back of your hand. This means to know a place extremely well. For example. She lived in Miami for twenty years. She knows the city like the back of her hand. Number eleven, hands down. This means obviously or without a doubt. For example, Sarah was hands down the best skater at the competition. Number twelve, a hand-me-down. This is a piece of clothing that belonged to an older brother or sister and is passed to a younger brother or sister. For example. My mother never bought me new clothes. She just gave me hand-me-downs for my sister. Number thirteen, second hand. This means previously used, not new. For example, I bought my microwave second hand at a garage sale. Number fourteen, in good hands. This means in the care of someone good or knowledgeable. For example. William's an excellent mechanic. Your car's in good hands. Number fifteen, have a hand in. This means to have a role in. For example, my cousin had a hand in getting me my job. He knows the company president. Number sixteen, take matters into your own hands. This means to take action on a problem yourself because other people have not done so. For example. My secretary kept forgetting to make my hotel reservation, so I took matters into my own hands and made it myself. Number seventeen, tip your hand. This means to reveal a secret about your plans or opinions. For example, the famous director tipped his hand on plans for his next movie. Number eighteen, on one hand, on the other hand, this is used to compare two aspects of a situation. For example, on one hand my job pays well, but on the other hand it's very stressful. Visit www.espressoenglish.net for more English tips. If you like this video, please share.